Hey guys, welcome to Fly Paintball. Paintball on the fly. Hey guys, welcome to Fly Paintball. This is Michael and Tristan, and today we're going to give you a quick run through on the protection we use while we're playing paintball. Uh, we've used a lot of different kinds of stuff uh, from all different price ranges, and we're going to let you know a little bit about each one of them and uh, what they can do for you. So we're going to start off with Tristan. All right, first I want to start by talking uh, elbow pads. Uh, a lot of people will use a lot of different things. Um, there's two kinds of price ranges. If you are willing to spend more money, then you can get a lot of the uh, actual paintball uh, companies that, you know, they're out there and they're making these uh, elbow pads and uh, they're, they're really nice. Um, I like them a lot. Uh, Michael uses the same, the Planet Eclipse uh, Distortion elbow and forearm uh, pads. They're really good, uh, one for ball deflection because it's protecting the front of your forearm and uh, also if you're doing a lot of crawling and, and you're falling, you're protecting your gun, that sort of thing, these are really good for that and the way these are all cut up and stuff, it, it's really good for giving you extra traction when you're uh, crawling along. So that's one good thing. If you want a cheaper alternative, you know, you can use just regular elbow pads that you can get at, you know, an athletic supply store. Uh, another thing, uh, knee pads. Um, we've used a lot of different types of knee pads. We've got uh, some more expensive ones. We've got uh, some uh, plenty of clip distortion uh, knee pads. Um, they seem to work pretty well. Uh, they've got all this that goes back behind the knee. Um, they seem to breathe pretty well. Uh, we also have the uh, 08 die knee pads that uh, work pretty well. Um, they have same of the, some of the same grip type stuff on them for if you're crawling along. That uh, works out pretty well and they also have all the sets behind the knee. Now if you're like me, you don't like having a lot of extra fabric and stuff behind your knee because it'll tend to bunch up or it'll pull or pinch or rub. So uh, some other things I've used are these uh, military knee pads. Um, they've got a durable rubber on them and the, the, lots of uh, padding on the back and they're just straps so you really don't have all of uh, all that extra fabric behind your knee so you can wear them for a good portion of the day. One thing is though with these straps they still tend to chafe a little bit if you're out there for eight or nine hours so that's something to think about. Another uh, alternative are these they're called Neelons. Um, they are uh, geared more towards martial arts or martial art knee pad. Um, they're real light, uh, real easy on the knees. Um, I can wear them all day and be fine. There's no chafing. It's not digging into anything. They're soft. They can take the impact, so they're really good. Uh, it's another they're light option. Too. Yeah, they're very light. Um, so that those are some other options, and these are, these are also cheaper than some of these things. So it's another alternative for you if you want something a little bit, you know, lower in price range. Then also your shins, you know, uh, it's good to protect them because, you know, when you're diving and stuff, uh, you know, your legs can get cut up a lot. I used to not wear any protection on my legs whatsoever. I'd always come away with my knees all cut up and bleeding and that kind of thing. So this really helps a lot with just protecting your legs. And if you're crouching and you've got your knees and your shins up, uh, some of these things can help with ball deflection, which is, you know, a big thing for us. Um, uh, for shins, a, a lot of paintball companies will make a uh, knee and shin combination pad that uh, works really well. Um, I've never used it. I wanted to get something a little bit cheaper, and I just use, you know, your, your typical basic uh, soccer uh, shin guards that you can get at any... Uh, athletic supply store and they work out really well and they're real cheap and then another thing I did is uh, made sure that they had a lot of uh, ankle protection because it helps you know when you're diving that kind of thing you know it's really easy to roll your ankle that sort of thing so this gives a little bit extra support and protection around your ankles so something you might want to think about when you're looking at getting uh, uh, shin protection for your legs 
Uh, all right, uh, I'm going to start talking about the uh, gloves that we use. Um, first bit of advice that I can give is don't ever spend more than $30 for a pair of gloves. Uh, in my opinion, uh, and I'm sure Tristan feels the same way, um, a $10 pair of gloves is going to give you just as much protection as a $30 pair of gloves. Usually when you're paying that much, it's all about how they look. Um, Tristan uses these gloves. Um, and uh, he just got them online. You said they're gen pretty generic they're, gloves. They're generic. Um, there's a lot of different companies that carry basically that same type of glove, um, but it's just real generic. They're ten dollar pair of gloves. They work great. They got lots of padding on here, so it's great for ball deflection. I never have any balls breaking on my knuckles. Um, and also, when you get hit in the hand, you don't really feel it. So that's another good thing about that pair of gloves. Yeah, and these ones have all the fingers cut out. So if you like playing like that, uh, it's already set uh, to have fingerless gloves. So uh, these look sturdy, and the protection on the front is great. Um, and I have, these are a pair of my old gloves uh, that I got a while back. I spent about $20 when they came out. They just have like a little bit of, um, styrofoam, not styrofoam, but kind of foam or, or, or rubbery, rubbery foam. protection on the front. These things do just fine. I never feel it when I get hit in the hand with these things. Uh, so that's good. And then I recently bought some new gloves uh, on sale for about $15. They're Empires um, and they have the gel to protect your fingers and uh, they have grips and stuff on the inside. The thing that I didn't like about them when I got them were they were like leather colored uh, they had that kind of like tan hide coloring and all I did was got some black fabric markers and colored it in black because that's how I like to look so uh, I saved a bit of money and I did spend 60 bucks or 40 bucks on a pair of all black gloves that did the exact same thing so when looking for gloves make sure you don't spend too much on them because there's going to be a lot of them that are very decent at a small price um, okay now I'm going to switch over to chest protection um, I wear chest protection Tristan doesn't, um, and I'm going to tell you why I like to wear it. Um, it gives you protection, first of all. Um, it gives you a decent amount of ball deflection. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things because, you know, you don't want to be that guy at the break that gets hit from a paintball from across the field and you're out already. So um, that always sucks, and these definitely help um, take care of that problem. And then um, you never want to get hit by, you know, Wherever you play, there's going to be some kid that's going to be a douchebag about playing, and I know you've all run into him, and you'll either be better or do something he doesn't like, and the first chance he gets, he's going to bonus ball you, and yeah, it hurts. So um, chest protection helps in that aspect, too. Um, I've used two kinds. I have a, an Empire chest protection, and I have a Sly. Now, there are two different kinds of... Um, uh, chest protectors in my opinion. The Sly is more geared towards the tournament player. Um, it, it uses a memory foam uh, that's not as protective as the Empire, but it gives you just enough protection to get by and to not get overheated. Um, so it's really nice in that aspect. A lot of movement with this one. The Empire is kind of like wearing a bulletproof t-shirt. It's got uh, styrofoam, padded all throughout the thing on the shoulders, arms, back, stomach, everything. Uh, the only problem with this is it gets really hot, especially during the summer, but you know, if I fall on the ground or dive, I don't feel a thing. Uh, I get hit with the ball from a decent distance, it's not going to break. So that's one great thing about these. Um, in my opinion, I would go with the Sly if you're a more serious player because uh, it's tournament legal, it's going to do the job for you and it's going to offer you, you uh, more than enough protection but you know if you have an empire and you're looking to upgrade to the, get the slide and keep the empire for times when you know you want to bring your little sister or your girlfriend out to play paintball um, this will offer a great amount of protection for them so they're not scared um, and that way when they get shot they're not scared away from the game of paintball um, which is a shame so uh, those are the chest protectors that I use um, and I mean call me a pussy but I, I like wearing them um, I know Tristan would wear them too if he didn't get too hot uh, playing in the summer, but you know, it, it's all these pads are extremely important to wear uh, in the game of paintball to you know prevent injury and to keep you more competitive. So that's why we wear them. Um, feel free to ask any questions on these. Um, we know a lot about pads because we've used a lot of them. So 
Um, that's about it. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Stay fly. And we'll see you next time.